Well, after giving a stern warning to Pakistan over terrorist links, the United States has taken yet another step to send across a clear message to Pakistan. The U.S. banking regulators have now ordered Pakistan's Habib Bank to shut its New York office for repeatedly failing to heed concerns over possible terrorist financing and money laundering. According to banking officials, Habib, which is Pakistan's largest private bank, neglected compliance problems and red flags were also there on transactions. The officials believe that those transactions potentially could have promoted terrorism, money laundering or other illicit activities on American soil. The bank has also been fined a $225 million fee by the State Department of Financial Services. According to U.S. bank regulators, the Pakistani bank, which has now been operating in the U.S. since 1978, facilitated billions of dollars of transactions with Saudi Arabia banks, which have reported links to Al-Qaeda. According to the U.S. Department of Financial Services, the bank improperly used a good guy list to rubber stamp at least $250 million in transactions, including those by an identified terrorist and an international arms dealer. In an August letter to the Pakistan Stock Exchange, the Habib Company's secretary, Nasheen Ahmed, called the proposed fine outrageous and capricious and said the bank had decided to close its New York operations in an orderly manner. Earlier, Washington told Pakistan that it must change its approach towards terror groups operating from its soil. The U.S. asked Pakistan to take a decisive action against terrorists on its soil.